And President Biden is in Israel today meeting with the country's wartime cabinet. It's a show of solidarity as Israel's military preps for a ground offensive against Hamas. NBC's Jay Gray is in Tel Aviv this morning. Good morning, President Biden on the ground here in Tel Aviv, though the scope of his trip has changed dramatically during his time in the air to get here. He is, of course, uh, meeting with Israeli leaders and their war cabinet later in the day. What he will not be doing is holding a summit with his Arab allies here. He will not make a trip to Jordan that was initially planned. And, and all of that was designed to really talk about and try and tamp down any violence from spreading into a wider military conflict across the region. Of course, of course, there is big concern right now on the northern border uh, with Lebanon as we see uh, troops and equipment building uh, at that border. We've seen uh, firing back and forth between the two sides with casualties on both sides uh, uh, with soldiers involved there. And so that's something that everyone is watching very closely and the tension uh, as well as uh, the fighting escalating there right now. Hundreds killed in that blast overnight at a hospital in Gaza. You've got Hamas blaming Israeli airstrikes for that. You've got Israel saying it was a failed rocket launch by Islamic Jihad. And the problem with this is perception is driving a lot of what is happening here. You've got the perception of all these airstrikes that have been going on uh, from the IDF, and then you've got the hospital that uh, is subject to uh, what happened there overnight. And so the rest of the world is, is watching this and wondering exactly who's to blame. It's led to protests across this region, and those protests are going to continue throughout the day here again. A very different and very tenuous trip for the president who is now on the ground here. That's the latest from here in Tel Aviv. I'm Jay Gray. Back to you now.